Hi there, welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna get straight to the point to not waste any of your time. To fix the video being blurry uploading it to YouTube, you gotta upscale your timeline to a 2K plus resolution and have at least one clip in there that is actually 2K or higher. That was the fix for everybody who is already experienced or has seen already the first video that I made about this topic. You're welcome. I'm making a follow-up video about this because in the last video I made, you could just create a 2K or 4K timeline, put all your files in it, upscale it, and it just worked. And for everyone who wants to know in detail how to fix this and why your video is blurry in the first place, here it goes. So first of all, there's two different codecs that YouTube is using for video files. There's AVC1 and then there's VP09. The codec that you want and probably all your favorite YouTubers have is VP09. The reason why your video is looking crappy on YouTube is AVC1. All right, bye. See you next time. I'm kidding. VP09, to my knowledge, is used for higher quality video. That means 2K plus resolution or if the algorithm of YouTube is recognizing your video as one that is gonna get a lot of interaction in the future, like big YouTubers. So YouTube does this, I believe, because it takes a lot of processing power and time to convert every single video of the billions of videos that are being uploaded to the website and prioritizes certain ones that are worth the process, basically, to, to get the good codec. But Nick, how do I check what codec my video is? Already ahead of you. So if you right-click on any video on YouTube, you can click on this little eye icon down here and click on stats for nerds. And then the fifth point from above, it says codex. This codec of the video here, it says AVC1. This is not the codec that we want. And that is why this old video of mine is super blurry. And I was just wondering why, why is it so blurry? I mean, it's, it, it was recorded in full HD and even my screen recording, you, you can barely read the text down here because it's just like, bad codec. So jumping over to my latest video and right click on here and you can see it's VP09. So this is how you're gonna get the good codec if you will. You open up Premiere Pro or whatever software, editing software you're using and create a new timeline. Click on new item, sequence and uh, 4k sequence. In my last video I showed how to create a 2k sequence by the way if you want to check it out it's up here. So this is the timeline that we created and I already imported some footage here, but why are these clips in the timeline looking so small, you ask? That's because this clip is actually recorded in 720p, which is three times less resolution than 4K. Because this is a 4K timeline, it looks like three times smaller than actual the actual screen. Makes sense, right? So we click on the clip here, go under effect controls, and under scale, we can upscale this clip in 4K. So basically, we're just doing this in a program. This is not down-resing your, your footage, but we're just upscaling it to the window that we have. So we're gonna do this with the first clip. The first clip is recorded in 120 frames per second, by the way, in 720p. The second clip is also 720p in 60 frames per second and the third clip here is recorded with my good old 70D which is like a 15 year old camera and it's recorded in full HD. So we only have to upscale it to 200%, so double the size. And the last clip is the secret. The last clip is the sauce basically and that is our 4K footage. So we only have one clip in this timeline in this 4K timeline that is actually 4K. And that is gonna give you the good codec, the VP09 codec later on. So this is looking all good to me. Every clip is scaled up, so we're gonna export now. So we're gonna hit Command or Control M to open the export window. Or what you can do is just click on File, and down here on the Export Media, and then it's gonna open basically the same window. And uh, I already have a preset for 4K, 24 frames per second in HQ, so high quality. And uh, what that means, I explain in a second. I'm just gonna show you my settings here. So basic video settings is the width and the height of the video is 4K, of course. This is 3840 to 2160. Uh, you can also just choose match source or uncheck this little box and type in this number if you're using 4K. 
uh, or 2K resolution. Uh, scroll down a bit, make sure render at maximum depth is checked. Scroll down a little bit more and under encoding settings, I choose hardware encoding. Uh, I don't know what your computer is capable of, but I choose hardware encoding that is, that is working for me perfectly. And uh, under profile, I choose high. I don't know, high 10 never really worked for me. You can choose all of these. High 10 is supposed to be the best one, but I choose high, it's totally enough. Level 5.2, you can scroll down a little bit more. Uh, you, can, you can't change any of these settings, you just leave them. Bitrate settings, these are important. Uh, I don't wanna get too technical here, but usually it's in VBR one pass. You can just click in this little arrow here and choose CBR, which is called constant bitrate. This is for high quality exports. And um, I choose for 4K uh, exports, I choose 100 constant bitrate. So target bitrate is 100. And um, for 2K, I choose 80. And for full HD, I choose 40, because you kinda like, you kinda gotta, gotta make it fit, you know? You don't have to use a target bitrate of 100 if you only have like, yeah, full HD footage, you know? Okay, scroll down a little bit more. You don't have to check any of these. Uh, audio settings, or basic settings, make sure audio quality is in high and um, click on this little button here to use maximum render quality and click export. So basically we already exported it, of course. We already uploaded it to YouTube. Um, and this video is the video that we just exported. And if you right click on this, on Stats for Nerds, you can see this is a VP09 codec. This is a good codec, that's why this video is super crispy. But only, remember, only the last clip is 4K. I'm sorry if you don't have any device that is recording 2K or 4K resolution, but that is the only way that I can fix this uh, codec. Let me know if you have any other fixes or uh, improvements. That's it from me. If you like this video, like the video. Uh, let me know in the comments if I could help you at all. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. And um, yeah, my name is Nick Shannon. Over and out.